Ever wondered why after having a good diet and exercise, you're still not losing weight? Maybe it's just your hormones. Ready na kayo? Let's start! Good day again guys, this is Dr. Ivan Godal, your internist and your endocrinologist. Here in this page in this channel, we try to educate people regarding diabetes, thyroid, and other hormonal diseases. If you're new here again, thank you for visiting. If you've been here before, thank you again for being part of our community. Okay, most of the time, calories in, calories out. Yun yung sinasabi nila kapag ikaw ay gusto magpapayat. The problem is, sometimes you feel like you're doing the work, but something's not right. Bakit hindi pa rin ako pumapayat? These are 5 hormones you need to check if you're still not getting the numbers that you want. Number 1 po, yung insulin. Please check po natin yung video natin regarding food and hormones. Andito po yung back ng lecture regarding insulin and the food that you eat. But in general nga po, insulin is an anabolic hormone. It stores energy in your body. Kapag hyperinsulin ka, mataas ang iyong insulin, be it kung may insulin resistance ka, or diabetes mellitus na talaga, this hyperinsulinism or this too much insulin increases the energy stores in your body. And that energy stores will lead to fat accumulation and increase in weight. Number two, thyroid hormones. So thyroid, ito nga po yung gas pedal regarding your metabolism. You increase your thyroid hormone, you increase also your metabolism. And this metabolism will tell you how fast or how slow you burn your calories. Now, kapag mababa po ang inyong thyroid hormones o yung tinatawag po nating hypothyroidism, nagiging mabagal din po ang inyong metabolism, leading to these kinds of symptoms. Constipation, weight gain, fluid retention, hair thinning and hair loss, and sometimes depression. If you want to know more regarding hypothyroidism, may lecture din po tayo dyan. But suffice to say, yun nga po, kapag mabagal ang inyong thyroid, hypothyroid po kayo, may lead to increase in weight gain. Kaya tayo, nahihirapan mag-lose ng weight. Kahit na nag-exercise na tayo. Kahit na nagda-diet na po tayo. Third hormone is yung leptin. Leptin po, yun yung parang appetite suppressant po ninyo. Kapag kumakain ka, yung leptin nyo po, nag increase para masabi na, busog na po ako. However, if you started on an overweight, syempre, marami po yung fat cells natin eh. And that fat cells produces excess leptin. So, dapat kung mataas na leptin, parati rin tayong busog. Kaso, ang utak po natin, nabobombard kapag sobrang dami na ng leptin sa inyong katawan, kasi nga, marami kang fat cells, the receptor shuts down. Ibig sabihin, hindi na napapansin ng inyong katawan na may leptin ka nga. Or yung tinatawag na nating leptin resistance. Kapag resistant na yung katawan mo sa sarili mong leptin, hindi napapansin ng inyong katawan na nabubusog ka na. Kaya kain ka pa rin, nang kain ka pa rin, nang kain. Parang ganun din po yung sa insulin resistance. Too much insulin will lead to insulin resistance leading to fat storage. Kapag too much leptin naman po magkakaroon ng leptin resistance, kabaliktaran yung nangyayari, hindi mo nafe-feel na busog ka na. Number 4, estrogen. Too much of that estrogen will tell your cells to produce insulin also. So, alam mo na patungo to, no? So, insulin will increase your energy storage and that energy storage will lead to fat accumulation and increase in weight. Ang kahibaan po sa estrogen, kapag mataas, pwede kang mahirapan magpapayat. Kapag sobrang baba rin naman, pwede ka rin pong mahirapan magpapayat. Kaya nga dun po sa ating mga old age group, yung mga menopausal patients po natin, mababa masyado na yung insulin nila kasi nga menopause, nahihirapan din po silang magpababa na kanilang timbang. Because remember, pag napansin po ni estrogen na kulang po kayo, your body will try to convert extra estrogen by increasing your fat accumulation. Kasi galing sa cholesterol din po ang estrogen. So kumbaga, dapat nandun lang kayo sa level ng estrogen na kailangan ninyo para kahit papano, hindi kayo mahirapan mag-lose ng weight. And the last hormone that you need to check is cortisol. I think this is the one of the most common hormones na nagiging abnormal and ginagawa din po niyang abnormal yung iba yung mga hormones leading to difficulty in decreasing weight. Siyempre, naririnig nyo na po yung mga sinasabi ng matatanda na sleep at saka stress. Dito, lumalabas yung hormone na yun. Kapag kulang ka sa tulog or masyado kang stress, nagpo-produce po kayo ng stress hormone. Ito po yung cortisol. Just like any other hormones, meron po tayo nito sa katawan. Ang problem, Pag parati kang puyap, parati ka rin pong stress, parating mataas ang inyong cortisol levels. And that too much cortisol in your body for a long period of time decreases your happy hormones and increases your fat accumulation. And syempre, sa punot dulo ng lahat, increase in weight. 
Kaya ikaw, nahihirapan ka rin mag-lose naman ng timbang. So, ayun guys, there you have it. Kamusta? Tingin nyo ba may problem kayo sa mga hormones na to? Kaya kayo nahihirapan mag-lose ng weight? Insulin, thyroid, leptin, estrogen, cortisol. If meron po kayo mga problem sa mga ganito, please share nyo lang po sa baba para matuto po yung mga viewers natin. And if you think you learned something new guys, please like and share if you're on Facebook and subscribe and smash that button kapag nasa YouTube po kayo. And again, this is Dr. Ivan Kodal, your internist and your endocrinologist, signing out.